Okay guys, so on episode 42 of Wine, Music, and Games, we have a great white wine for you, an awesome throwback album, if you will, from John Cougar Mellencamp, and another look at a revised version of a game that we talked about before. So stay tuned, and we look forward to telling you all about it. So how you doing, Honey Bunch? I'm doing great, how are you, dear? next to the woman I love. This is fantastic. <laughs> All right. So, Shelly, uh, oh, wait, before, remember, subscribe, ring the bell, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Yes. Okay. Listen to our weekly audio podcast, which we've got 790 episodes of. All right. We're glad you're here, but check it all out. All right. And what do you got for wine, babe? Well, a friend was nice enough to bring this bottle of wine over and it's called the Hermit Crab and it's from Australia. And it is a very interesting blend of wine that we had never had before. That's true. And we probably wouldn't have picked it up ourselves That's because true. <laughs> it's a Viognier Marsan blend, which to me is just like, what are you talking about? Blew my brain because <laughs> Viognier is a wine that um, is pretty common in warmer areas of California. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it tends to be, it's, a very, it's an oilier grape. And yes. so it, the mouthfeel is a bit different for us. And, it, yes. and, and it's usually, and it's definitely on the sweeter side too. Yes. Um, so if you love Viognier, you know, well, that's cool. That's just a different type of flavor than we were expecting from this one. It's because it's got the Marsan in it. It has a much more um, structure to it. Yeah, um, definitely. And the it is just it's a um, dry wine with lots of minerality, but there's fruit on it and mm -hmm. there's some sweetness on it, yeah. and the sweetness is really good. But it's subtle; it's not overpowering. Yeah, it's, and the oiliness of the Viognier doesn't, doesn't come, come through, through at all. And also, it may not be oily from Australia because every you know grapes every region terroir. and your terroir changes things. So yeah. it makes me want to try Viognier from. Um, other areas, which of course, you know, I like to try wine, so it's not a problem, <laughs> but I would definitely recommend this one. This one is a family owned, um, uh, family owned and run for four generations, been around since 1912, long, long time. Shelly, it's the hermit crab and it's kind of cool because it's their family emblem and you look at this and you think, oh, was there something wrong with the label? Did they cross it off? No, that's their family emblem. So you would definitely recognize it and hopefully be able to find it where you're at. Good stuff. All right, the music this week is, as I said at the top, a throwback. John Cougar Mellencamp, originally John Cougar with American Fool, but then he added the Mellencamp. Um, th by the time we get to this album, I am really loving John Cougar stuff. Not that I didn't like some of his other stuff, you know, I, I Fight Authority, all of those types of things. But this album, he kind of adds some of the country, mm. uh, um, you know, the, the Americana, if you will, music to it. We have a fiddle here, but it's not overpowering. I'm not a huge twangy country person. Person, um, but I do love this album Paper and Fire on here and a lot of mm. the other songs are just really wonderful songs um, so the Lonesome Jubilee John Cougar Mellencamp's I think is best album yeah it's wonderful and remember a few t episodes back and we've been talking about this game a bit um, Luda Creations and thank you Rockless uh, saw our original post about on the underground and they said and we had mentioned that they had whoops <laughs> i was gonna say they had mentioned that we <laughs> had they had republished down. this and um and i knew that but um i also realized you know that there's a second map in this republication um this is a beautiful game we love the original which was from jkl and mario grande but oh my god luda creations has done such a great job with it and look at look at the uh watercolor here even the inside of this the is box how i know we had it upside down because this picture was upside down yeah she, like, she's, so, she's good so i was like uh oh <laughs> yeah so this is for two to five players um and the you know on the underground is about you're building your train lines you have your different colored tracks depending upon the number of players and you're trying to score points and um you have a passenger or a, a single passenger you're trying to move from point to point the cool things that this version added or some of the cool things are first of all there are express and regular or normal routes and now they're marked with the different colors which are express and normal so you can see those a lot yeah. better on yeah. the london version it is of course big ben on the berlin side you've got the uh, special tower that is in berlin and we haven't been to berlin so I, I i don't know that very well okay so you've got the berlin tower um you have otherwise the london map is pretty much the same um it's the same layout the berlin map though adds different things where you 
we've got yeah. um, set collection as um, an alternative to point-to-point -point connections, which is one of the scoring methods in the London version. You also, and thank you, Rockless, you sent this along. This was the Underground Challenge, mm -hmm. which was a little solo deck, which makes it so that you can play it solo. And I did that at school the other day during my prep period, because it's right at the beginning of school and I've, I've got all my prep done. Yeah, yeah um, you're organized. So I know, you I'm getting should. organized here. Yeah. So uh, I was able to play it in about 40 minutes. And it's really cool because what it does is it sets it up so that um, the dummy player has a couple of lines already built and they don't build anymore. You don't have to build, do anything, but they start out with a particular score. And then if you go over their route, they're going to score points and you're going to score uh, points. Just and, like if you had another player. That's right. Smart. And smart. the game ends as soon as you pass the dummy player's score marker. Mm. And then you look to see how many cards are still in the deck that you didn't get to. And that determines how well you did. And I really enjoyed it. It was very fun. The German board is is awesome. Oh, totally. Um, because I love how much more I get to think about the routes that I'm going to go on because there's never a wasted turn because you can always try to go um, pick up one of these set collections and you're seeing what the other person's collecting yeah, too. True. So And you have to get one of each in order to score 10 points. And you have that's to, cool. at the end, you, whatever one you have the most of, you're going to score three points per. Right. So you're looking at what the other player has. Sometimes you might be going to get that. There's a lot of different, it, it allows you to think more deeply in the game. Yeah. And I loved um, the original. The original. Yeah. And that's in this box. But the the German board is particularly good. Yeah, the Berlin board is yeah. excellent. Yeah. All right, yeah. so that's on the underground, Sebastian Bleasdale, Luda Creations. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back over what we got. This is from De Ardenberg. That's the family, established in 1912. It is a Viognier Marsan blend. And if you want to try something unique, there I don't think there's anything else quite like it. It is very good. Yeah, Australia. Okay. Yeah. The music again was John Cougar Mellencamp's Lonesome Jubilee. Excellent album. Check it out. Stream it. It's great. Um, and finally, On the Underground, London and Berlin. This is was released in 2019, the revised version of On the Underground. This adds so much. It is worth the price of entry. Get it. Check it out. So good. You get a big bin. Love it. <laughs> All right. That'll do it for this week. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Have an amazing week. Take care of yourselves. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.